Hi guys, it's Anelius and welcome to Total War Arena. We're playing here with Germanicus, who is a Roman commander, who in this is actually commanding tier 4 swordsmen. So let's get started. So, let's move our troops forward. We're going to try to move our troops towards there. Setting a decent pace. And we've got some tier 3 swordsmen behind us. We are wearing a reasonable kit. We still only got those those bronze breastplate kind of things. But I think that's that's something that's very, very typical for the Roman units at least. Ours are nicely rounded, whereas theirs are more squarish. <clears throat> but okay, let's see how it goes here. Alright, let's form up here. Do I need to? Mm, maybe I don't need to. No, I don't need to. We can actually uh, move up. We have drawn fast blood. Quickly! We've drawn first blood. Interesting. Love that phrasing. All right, let's do this. Interesting, so we are suffering here because of everything. Not too badly though. Well, these guys are at the rear, so let's focus on actually defeating the horsemen. Whereas at the front, we really need to basically be focusing on other things. Basically being surrounded and, and slaughtered here pretty much. Oh, we're still fighting, which is good. Should deal with those horsemen here properly. Are they dead? They are dead. Good. Cooldowns are expiring. We're doing pretty well, I'd say. We're doing, except for, of course, this unit here. This one's being just absolutely slaughtered. Oh, 
Let's uh, see if we can make some help out over here. Yeah, these guys here are fighting for their lives, basically. much we can do at the moment. We are doing our utmost, but uh, there's only so much you can do. <clears throat> it did bring us to the top of the listing, as you can see, which I think is uh, quite a feat. Nice feat to do. Be obliterated shortly, but uh, let's just stick with this battle here. <clears throat> the thing I'm wondering about is, is that there's so many units, particularly on the southern side of the map. Yeah, that one basically is obliterated. Guys, instead of staying up there, come and help me. Let's parry them. That's fine. Our morale is slowly dropping. Uh, are we routing? Maybe, maybe not. It looks like we're still standing here. Guys, help me out. Don't just leave me. I'm trying to hold the line here, but you are just falling back. That's what a coward he is. Alright. We're doing our utmost, but we are being pushed back. Oh, there you come again. It's a bit late, isn't it? Gosh. Yeah, that's my death. If only they stuck with me throughout. Then again, it brings us to the top of the list, as you can see. 4,800 XP here. Lots of uh, aggression XP, but also quite a bit of defense. Defense were at the top, aggression were at the top. Death has come. Yes, I know, death has come. Look at the amount of damage you dealt here, though. It's huge! 120,000 damage to melee units. Only 552 ranged units, 22,002 cavalry. Yeah, so uh, quite happy with that. So we were able to right flank a couple of units here, right flank. So 120,000, I think that's one of the top ones I've ever, actually ever had. So really really happy with that this will be a game of elimination now i don't think anyone will be able to beat me to the top of the list anymore if only they worked together a bit more at the moment it's such a scattering of units look at this okay well that's artillery so yeah there, there is a, a bit of sense to that that they are actually still back here but what else have we got here we got of course these uh hoplites here of course, good to have a bit of defense and so forth here, but really, really, guys, if we've got so many troops up front, we should really make, make them properly count. So move them into the enemy base. So these guys are charging now here, as you can see. Really? Like I said, basically, if you work together with your units, you can accomplish quite a bit. So that's exactly what they're doing here. Uh, then again, I think it's only one player left on the, on the enemy's team, but oh, two, actually two. But they're actually trying to basically work together to some extent. They're trying to basically make the best of things here. Now that could have been better, but if they basically now properly fight here, those uh, yeah, final Roman soldiers will be defeated relatively easily. And of course artillery, they should really be thinking what they're doing, but okay. They should be able to do a charge, but they need to have sufficient distance to be able to do a charge. Yes, so get a bit of distance, turn around, charge right into there. Come on. Come on, guys. Ah, really? If no one sees them, no one can actually hit them. Well, you can still hit them, but you won't see whether you actually hit someone or not. Ah, 
Right. Oh, that's what I mean. You need to do a proper charge. Proper charge right into there. I think they're stick. Why did they pull back? Just stick with it. You'll defeat them. Yeah, of course that doesn't help. But if you look at the timing of that piece of artillery, that must have been whilst the actual friendly units were actually right next to them. A little bit of scattering, not much, but still. Ooh. I didn't know that, that they had caltrops. Really? Ionian archers. Hmm, interesting. Come on, do another charge right up to them. Look at that. Just stick with it. Stick, stick it. Ah, fight it out, mate. Come on. Every time because you're retreating, you're basically leaving one or two units behind. And it ultimately causes more damage to your, your entire unit as opposed to what you're, you're doing trying to do. If you just stick in there, stay with it. Come on, charge right into there. You got these lances. It's not like they're basically a massive enemy force that you're dealing with. Look at that. Are we going to be seeing them hit? Come on, it's landing. Come on, where? There. Now it misses. Unfortunately. Again, because you're pulling back, there's not much to see. Like I said, it's great to have some defense at the base, but really... I'd love to be able to see what these units will be doing. At least I'm able to take control of this unit for now. Alright. There we go. Enemy units are in, in sight. I guess what he's doing here is taking all of his horsemen, putting them all together. Eh, there's something to be said for that. There is something to be said for that. So these Ionian archers here. Ooh, there we go. Now this phalanx is already formed. What, what is? Yeah, I think he's changing angle already slightly. They're just ramming themselves right into these spears here. They're trying to do a parry. It sent them. Really? Really? Is that smart? Firing your artillery right into a frontline confrontation like that? When you're doing the artillery, you have to basically be sensible. Used in such a way that basically it makes sense and you don't hit your own units. So if they're out in the open somewhere, then you hit them like that. But you don't do this. Gee, and particularly not when basically your own units have got the upper hand. It doesn't make sense. You're basically damaging your own side more than you actually are hitting the enemy side. Um, yeah, hit them. Sorry, guys. He's right here. Right here. Up. Oh, yep. Yep. Almost. He's stabbing them. He's got a nice shield. It's a single unit left here. Ah, oh, and is he dead? Yes, he's dead. Ah, finally, annihilation victory. All right, let's look at the after action results. So we should. Can we shoot the top of the ranking here? Yes. Sweet. Let's look at the details. Alright. We've teared up with our commander. Nice to see that. We basically have got one routed unit because we got two eliminations. Plus, killed the most enemies in battle. We got a reward for that. And of course, we are at the top both in terms of aggression as well as in terms of defense here. Which gives us an overall yeah, top of the listing here. In terms of details... I'm quite happy with that. Just bear in mind that these XP levels here are slightly inflated because of the fact that basically we have got a 5 times multiplier applied. And you see that listed again up here. Guys, hopefully you enjoyed it. I most certainly did. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.